How do you approach an intimidating hitter? That a boy. Yes, sir. From my approach, when we hear the terms of, you know, everybody knows who that stud athlete is on the other team, right? Everybody talks about him. Even the parents talk about him. The players talk about him. You know, you look up his rankings and he does this and that. And my approach is certainly different than quite a bit of, of other people. I don't feed into that. And I try to tell my pitchers to not do that either. Again, he's never seen you. And as far as I'm concerned, the old adage is, if I affect his timing, his balance, and his approach, I win the at-bat a whole lot more than he does. So are we going to just maybe give him a fastball right down the middle and see what he's all about? No, no. But are we going to just throw him all off-speed pitches and be totally timid and scared and change our routine? Absolutely not, right? We're going to take into account maybe who he is, but we're going to throw to our strengths too, okay? Because he's got to hit our strengths. So that's what I try to relay to my pitchers, right? And if, if we throw our best pitch, let's say our best pitch is a two-seam middle in, right? And we can really move it and we got a little bit of velocity. And he puts a good swing and hooks it foul or, or gets a base hit, well, good. We'll tip our cap to him. And guess what? We'll approach the next bat differently. But I've never once been a guy that's been scared to attack hitters who are labeled as the dude. Uh, just because people say so. I'm not going to feed into that. Will I make adjustments? Good. I'm certainly not going to be stubborn if all of a sudden he gets me once and I'm like, ah, no, I'm going to go right back at him with the same stuff. Well, that's the defini definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. We will adjust, but we won't be fearful.